We're here in St. Felicien after the elite men's cross country at the Canadian National Championships talking with Max Plaxton, who's just won his second consecutive national title. Max, um, it must feel pretty good. I mean, last year everyone was saying, oh, maybe it's a fluke. This year you've shown that you really um, have moved up to that level where, 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 where you're sort of the best Canadian rider. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Um, it's, you know, it, it was, it was, I think it was harder than last year, um, but it's never easy. Uh, there's, yeah, so it's, it, it's nice to win the second one in a row. Uh, it's, I think, you know, my first last year was pretty special, but it's, like you said, it, I definitely feel like I'm the best Canadian rider, if not, you know, in, in North America. So, um, you know, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty proud and excited to wear the uh, national champion jersey for another year. Now, it looked like for the first, at least the first half of the race, maybe a little more than that, you and Jeff were pretty even. Uh, you dropped Raph Gagne. Uh, what happened? Like, when, when did it split up? How did it split up? Yeah, so, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't see the front of the, front of the race till about lap, lap uh, I want to say lap four or five. Um, but I was just kind of seeing how those guys are riding. And, I know, you know, I know Jeff, he was going to try and uh, get away early. So I was pretty happy to stay on his wheel. And, you know, Raf stuck with us for first half of the race, which was, which was great to see. But um, I had a little bobble on the fourth lap, and Jeff, Jeff got a little gap, and I could tell he really wanted to get away. And I was able to claw my way back and uh, just got to the front, not really an attack, but just got to the front and uh, riding my pace in the single track. I just got a little gap and figured it was a good, good idea to punch it. So, and uh, felt good. Yeah. So you got a couple of more big races coming up in the next uh, couple of weeks. Two, two more World Cups. Uh, um, this is obviously it's been a bit of a break since uh, the European World Cups. So is this sort of giving you some confidence that you're uh, possibly going to maybe improve on your ninth uh, in La Bresse? Yeah, I'm very excited for uh, Mount Saint Anne and Wyndham World Cup. Uh, you know, coming over here, it's still we're still pretty far from from Victoria, but after the travel I've done this year, I feel I feel good. You know, I feel I feel fresh and. Uh, I've had the last 10 days, two weeks, just amazing training, you know, intervals, motor pacing, uh, everything. So um, been, this week was pretty hard training. So I think even with a bit more rest by St. Anne next weekend, I'm going to be, uh, be be going pretty good. So I'm, I'm excited. The podium, would, I think, is definitely within reach. So we'll see what happens. Okay, again, well, congratulations. Thanks, Rob.